Alrighty, got a lie coming. O320. Putting on the, we're putting the cylinders back on, so we've got to drain out your valve push rod lifters. So to get those out, I've got some O25 safety wire right here that I've bent a little hook in the end of. Get it right there in the center. Hook that center hole. Gently pull. Do not use magnets on this. Don't put magnets inside your engine. Let's see if I can get this to grip. Of course, as soon as you turn the camera on, nothing works. There we go. It's gonna take a couple of little pulls to get it to separate, but then once it does, she'll pop right out. And there it comes. Okay, now that's your, that's your center. Alrighty, and there is the, the concave face of the lifter right there. That's what actually comes into contact with the push rod. Uh, normally you'd have a way to catch it as it comes out. Of course, what I did was throw it straight onto the dirty hanger floor and get it all nice and, clean, uh, and nice and unclean. Okay, once you've got that out, we're gonna move this out of the way. Now, I've got a piece of O32 safety wire that I have bent a hook onto the end of. You can get a very similar tool to this from Lycoming. I think the last time I checked the price on aircraft spruce was, uh, oh, was about $250 for this little thing. Or, you know, you can get just a few inches of O32 wire and use this. So all I'm doing with this is I'm taking that hook I'm slipping it down the side and I'm using the other end of the wire to twist it and hook in behind and you'll see as we get it out here in a second. As soon as we get it out far enough, we can actually grab it with our fingers. I'll get it with my fingers here, pull it the rest of the way out. There should be some oil in there behind it. It'll kind of resist you a little bit. There'll be a little bit of oil that runs out behind it. And then you can see here there's a spring and that's what you're, that's what you're hooking on to with your safety wire here as you're pulling it out. So you just slip it down in behind there. And then as you turn it, it'll grip into that spring and you can pull it right out the front. Once you have it apart to this point, you'll see that this spring right here, there's almost no travel that can happen with this spring. And that's, that's precisely what we need for when we're reinstalling the push rods back into the engine when we reassemble. So we're gonna get this. Behind this, there's a secondary piston in here that is trapped by oil, very much like the way a, a brake caliper works. So there's oil trapped in here behind a piston, and that's what's preventing this from moving back and forth. So we're gonna untrap that oil. All right, we have the two parts, two pieces apart now. So you can see there's a little piston there with the spring attached to the top of it, and then the face that pushes on the back side of the, uh, of the actual push rod concave surface. And then this open cylinder in the back that slips inside it. And this spring here catches the lip of the outer cylinder, but now there's movement. Okay, and you see it actually has, it has a little bit of pressure relief through that hole there on the side. So now this is ready to be put back. Once we oil it back up again, it's going to be ready to go back into the engine. And now when we put our push rod in, it'll compress a little bit and let us put our valves back in. Alrighty, we've oiled our valve lash adjuster back up. And she goes. Gentle push to put it back into place. We've cleaned off pressing face, make sure that we have the concave surface facing out towards us that actually comes in contact with the push rod. Get that aligned and gently push it back in. And as you push back, you should be able to feel that spring pushing back against you. Now we've got movement, we can put the push rods back in. 